Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send a Microsoft form approval to a manager using Power Automate. If you enjoy Power Automate, Power BI, Power Apps, SharePoint and Teams videos, feel free to subscribe to be putting out more tutorials in those areas. And let's get into the video. So we have a Microsoft form. It's an approval that I want to send to the user's manager that submits this form. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. I already created the um, form. I'm just requesting a device. So the user would go in, they would be requesting a laptop or a phone, some additional information, uh, when they want the device, what department is this for? And the form looks somewhat like this. So just collecting some basic information. And I'm going to store that information in a SharePoint list and send an approval to that user's manager. And for this to work, your organization or company needs to make sure that their uh, Azure directory is up to date. So for this, I'm going to submit the form as Michael. And on the back end, I have the manager listed down below down here as manager so the manager for michael is bob green so bob green should receive this request so let's go ahead and create a flow for this so this is going to be an automated cloud flow and i want the flow name to be request device form manager approval so when a new response is submitted let's go ahead and press create so for our form, we're going to do request device form. So that's the name of my form right here. And we want to go ahead and get response details. So form ID, it will be request device form. Response ID will be the response ID for when a new response is submitted. So let's go ahead and get our manager for that user that submitted that form. And there's actually an action in Power Automate, get manager. Uh, office 365 users we'll go ahead and click on that so it's asking for the user upn so this will be the responders email we'll use this for our user and this should give us the dynamic content for that user's manager so let's go ahead and create this item so we can see that it actually pulls the correct information create item this is in my information technology sharepoint device List name is device request. Uh, we'll go ahead and fill in some information here. So the title, this will be, which device are you requesting? Do by, the one would you need this device by? Sometimes the questions won't show in this dynamic content. That's because it's looking for a date and it's just looking for a type that fits that field. And apparently my do by didn't do that. So department, what is your department, details, first approval value. So it's going to come from later on and users managers. So user manager claims, it's going to be under the get manager dynamic content. This is going to be the email, the manager. So mail. And then I'll also put the manager's email with the mail. So it's gonna display the user's manager as the display name in my SharePoint, I believe. So let's go to user manager, column settings. And this is a person or group column. Okay, so we're submitting the form, getting their details, getting the manager, creating the item, and then we wanna send the approval. So start and wait for an approval approval type, first to respond, title, new device, submitted, and I will just get the device from get response details from, and we will put the responder's email there as well. Assign to, so the assign to is going to be under the get manager dynamic content. It's going to be the mail. Uh, no details. 
and that should be good. When new response submitted, get response details, get manager, create item, and start and wait for an approval. So I actually don't have Bob Green having a license to anything in Microsoft. I'm not going to be show be able to show you that he actually receives that approval. Uh, I don't feel like buying multiple licenses for all the users I have in my uh, test environment that I created. I only have one for Michael. But we can see that it actually pulls the correct Git Manager information within the create items. And that approval will go to the right person. Let's go ahead and press save. Okay, so let's just go ahead and fill out a quick form. So this is going to be submitted under Michael and it's going to go to Bob Green. So I'm just entering in some dummy information here and we're going to press submit and this should trigger our flow. It looks like it failed. Let's go check it out real quick. There's an error in your flow preventing the creation of approvals. Use the link below to learn more about the errors with your flow or environment. Invalid approval create requests assigned to missing. So under our Git manager, it looks like we actually did get Bob Green, so that's good. So it actually was able to pick up that manager. But it looks like I need to use the user principal name instead of the mail. That might be because Bob doesn't have an Outlook email, but this user principal name should work. So let's just go ahead and fix that up. Read item. user principal name and we'll you do that for manager email and let's try and use that down here okay click on save test manually actually we'll just do it with a recent trigger so I don't need to submit that form again And it looks like it actually ran this time, so we should be good. So we'll just check our SharePoint to see that it actually went to Bob Green. So we're, look, we're looking at the second item. User manager is Bob Green, and it went to his email. And it's actually not going to show that he received the approval uh, on my end, but in theory, he actually did receive the approval if it was another user in my organization. And it's currently waiting for him to send a response, but you will never see that response because uh, Bob doesn't exist and I don't have a license to use that user with these applications. So that will be how to send a Microsoft form approval to the user's manager using Power Automate. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, sorry I couldn't show you more in depth, but if you get to this point and get the approval working, you should be good to go with the rest of the steps.